Welcome to Misconceptions and Difficult Concepts in Chemistry. Today, we will talk about the drawing of covalent bonding. So let's, state, let, let's list a simple covalent compound, say for example, simple one, chlorine, Cl2. How do you know this is a covalent compound? Because this is a non-metal. It is made out of non-metal. So chlorine, step one, we look at it from the periodic table. It is in group seven meaning it has 7 valence electrons and to allow chlorine to have a stable oxide configuration it requires one more valence electron so this would actually be the chlorine molecule Cl2 okay yep so this is the sharing of the electrons in chlorine to give you Cl2 another example which you would commonly see is oxygen oxygen has 6 valence electrons so to allow oxygen to actually attain the 8 valence electrons for the stable oxide configuration, it would actually need to share 2 valence electrons. So if I represent chlorine's shared pair of electrons here as a single line, so one line represents a pair of electrons. Oxygen here would have 2 lines. So this is a double covalent bond versus a single covalent bond. The next common covalent compound you would be required to draw is nitrogen, N2. N2 is in group 5, 5 valence electrons. So how does it go about, how does it have a stable octet configuration? If it has 5, five valence electrons, it must share 3 valence electrons each. Okay, so sharing these three valence electrons each, if you count, you will get eight valence electrons. Remember to write a key for all the questions. So electron of N, electron of N. And if I were to convert this into the line diagram, I would get three straight, straight lines here. So this is the triple covalent bond. The next common compound is actually carbon dioxide, CO2. Non-metal, non-metal, they are both non-metals. So this is a this is a covalent compound. Carbon has four valence electrons. One, two, three, four. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So this is four. Four, it needs four more. Oxygen needs two more. So actually it's quite simple to balance. We just need to have two oxygens for every one carbon atom. So how do we go about drawing this? One. and one remember to label with a key All right electrons of oxygen and electron of carbon so this over here shows a double covalent bond so if i convert this to line diagrams i would get carbon dioxide as such okay so go ahead and try this is actually quite simple don't be don't, don't fumble with these diagrams they actually worth quite a lot of marks in your papers